In this video, I will show you how the work in progress system is functioning in Business Central from a production order perspective. In this situation, I have a release production order that I have already posted materials on and capacitors. So if I go into my production order and I look at the production order statistics, I can see that my actual cost in this production order is 8,774. And these are my actual costs. They are now on the work in progress account in the chart of account. And I'd like to check that out. So I will leave my production order, go into my chart of account, and look for my work in progress account, which is in this case in the end of my account schedule. So I can see here my manufactured item has a balance of almost 200,000 and my work in progress account here is 8,700. So I can actually see the actual amount here. If I drill down to this one, there's more than one production order, but the other production order, for instance, this one, 10, 11, 44, is uh, already going into zero because we already it took that amount out of the VIP account. So if I drill down a little, I can see on this production order here, 49, that all the entries are positive because they are all on the VIP account. This means that it only represents money because I cannot count the out item even though it's produced. Uh, I need to finish my production order before it's taken out of the VIP account and transferred to my manufactured item account that I have set up. So I will try to find my release production order again. And now I will change status to my production order to finish. So while changing the status and I cannot, meaning that I cannot uh, open it again, it will finish the production order and it says here some output is missing and then it finished the production order. And now my VAP account is zero because that was the only open production order. And I would have made an amount on entry of the negative amount and transferred that into my manufactured item account. So this should also be the last entry here. So here it is on this account. So this way it's now on the actual inventory account and not VIP. The only reason this happened automatically is because in my inventory posting setup, sorry, my inventory setup here, I have checked that cost posting should be done automatically and it should always uh, also run the cost adjustment automatically. If I didn't set that up on the inventory setup, I need to run manually each month or whatever. First my adjust cost item entry job, which will adjust the item entry cost. And then afterwards the post inventory cost to GL. Those two batches will do the same.